What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. I am in Northwest Las Vegas at Val Ridge in the master plan of Sky Hills. This is a Pulte home community and this is a quick move in opportunity for the Tivoli plan. If you wanted to build this from the ground up, it would be about eight or nine months, but this one's completely ready to go. It's got four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, over 3,400 square feet. You do have a three car garage. It looks like a two, but it's a three car tandem. Again, it's over 3,400 square feet, and this one's offered at $698,000. So a staple with this Tivoli plan is you have this courtyard entry. This is a very popular plan with Pulte. So I'm going to take you guys inside. For Sky Hills, it's a master plan. You have $102 a month HOA fee, and then a $48 a month SID. It's a gated community. You do have a park here for the residents as well. But here's a look at the entrance. So another staple with this Tivoli plan is you have the curved staircase here right at the entry with the double heighted ceilings. Your main living space is over there. I'm gonna quickly show you the side here. You have a storage closet as well as, so they utilize the space underneath the staircase. So you have plenty of storage there. And you have a half bath over here as well. You have these tile floors throughout on the main level. And here's a look at the three car garage. So you have the epoxy floors, you have two cars right here, and you have an additional space over there. You do have the tankless water heater as well. Let's show you the other side in the main living spaces here. So you do have a formal dining space. That's what this space would be. You have access into the kitchen through there. You obviously have the pre-wire there for a chandelier, um, ceiling fans, etc. This is kind of just a flex space. So if you're building the Tivoli from the ground up, you could actually knock this wall down and utilize the space from the tandem and create another bedroom. So it does have capability for up to five bedrooms, but as currently constructed, this one is four. And then this is the main living room. You have the sliding doors that take you out to your backyard and you have an additional set of doors on the other side, which I'll show you. Here's a look at the kitchen. You have beautiful quartz countertops with the darker stained cabinets, all stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. And you kind of have an eat-in breakfast nook area over here. But this is that other door I was talking about that'll take you into your covered patio in the backyard. I'll head out there just in one second. I just want to give you a few angles here of this space. So you have space for your refrigerator. They're all Whirlpool appliances. And you have the space that connects with the dining area. So you can put a little wet bar or uh, storage for wine, etc. Whatever you want to do. Let me head into the backyard. So this home sits on roughly a 5,400 square foot home site. You can see you have the covered patio area. You don't, your neighbors don't see into you. They have this high wall here, but it's a blank canvas to make it whatever you want. If you need inspiration for the backyards or even inside the homes, this Tivoli, home, this Tivoli plan is actually modeled here at this community. So you can get some inspiration for the interior or the exterior of this home. You have the beautiful modern um, rails there on the staircase that look very sleek. Just give you one more pin here and then we'll head upstairs. Again, this one's over 3,400 square feet. You have four bedrooms up here. You have carpet upstairs, so you see the carpet on the staircase. And you're gonna have carpet throughout other than the laundry room and the um, bathrooms. This is going to be a main loft area and that's gonna be your primary suite. I'm quickly gonna show you this other wing of the house with all the secondary rooms. You do have storage right here off of the landing. Let's head this way. So this secondary room actually does have its own ensuite bathroom and walk-in closet. There's a look at the closet and you do have a three quarter bath here, 
with the standing shower. You have the pre-wire up above as well. And straight across is going to be another secondary room right here. You do have the walk-in closet. This one does have access to a bathroom, but this is going to be a shared bath. You have the dual sinks there. And it is a full bathroom. You have quite a few doors right here. But you do have the tub and shower combo. And then if you head out this other door, you're going to see the final bedroom, final secondary bedroom, I should say. You do still have the primary. This one as well does have the pre-wire up above, standard closet, and then your laundry room is gonna be the last thing here on this wing. So you do have tile here. Now let's head into the primary. We'll take a look at this generous loft space here. And you have a nicely sized primary with the owner's retreat is what they call it, that space over there. So you have the main space for the bed and then you kind of have your own space where you can create your own living room or office area, whatever you'd like to do. But a very nicely sized primary suite. You get some cool mountain views there in the back as well. Let me show you the bathroom. So you have separate vanities and you have a tub and shower separate. Let me focus there. Clear blue skies today. Your water closet's gonna be right here off to the right. You have a storage closet to my left. You have the separate tub and standing shower. And your closet is split into two as well for his and hers. So you keep everything separate. They both kind of wrap around here. So plenty of space here in the closet. So again, this home's currently offered at 698. They are offering some special incentives um, potentially lower interest rate, closing cost incentives, obviously pricing, availability, and, and, and incentives are subject to change. So please contact me for the most up-to-date information. And if you're interested in new homes here in the Las Vegas Valley, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you out with your home search. Again, as always, my contact information is down below in the description.